Hello and welcome to day 16 of 30 GIMP tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you a popular editing style that you can instantly add to your photos in a couple of clicks. So let's do it. So this type of editing effect is something I do at the end of my retouching and editing. And you can see from this particular image, I've already styled and edited this photo with a retro style effect, which I've covered in a previous tutorial. I have a link to that if you want to check that out. So I'm going to demonstrate this glowing, dreamy, soft, romantic type of look and how much you apply the intensity to your image will depend on your subject. So you can get away with a stronger effect, I would say, for wedding photos like this versus a portrait. So you may want to adjust that accordingly. And I also have a couple other photos here to demonstrate how it affects your image with different types of backgrounds, as well as some additional tips for customizing the glowing, dreamy effect. So it's real easy to create. All we have to do is duplicate the layer, then go up to Filters, Blur, and select Gaussian Blur to blur out the details. So we have our size X and Y sliders here. They're linked together. And when I click over here to the right, it blurs out those details. That's the first step in creating the glow effect. Now, the further to the right you go, of course, the more it's going to blur out the details and that's going to create a stronger glowing effect. So if you want to tone it down, use a smaller amount. The amount is entirely up to you based on your creative vision. You may need to try it a couple of times with a duplicate layer, of course, to see which settings you prefer. And then you can kind of go back to that as your go-to setting for future types of images that you're working on. So you may want to do, let's say 15 for weddings and then a size of five for portraits. So go ahead and experiment with your own images to see what you like. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And then we need to go up to Mode and select Screen to blend it in with the layer below to create that dreamy, soft effect. Now it's a little too intense for me at this point. So I'm going to come up here and drop the opacity down to around 50. So there's the before and the soft, dreamy, romantic effect. How cool is that? All right, so my clients love it. I love it and I hope you love it too. So let's check it out on another image here. So we have a darker background with a lot more color saturation versus the last image. So to me, this is more of a classic type of edit. And let's see what we can do with adding a glow effect. So I'm going to duplicate that layer. I know I want to use the same amount of blur as I did before because that's the amount that I like right in within that range. So I'm going to go up to filters and select repeat Gaussian blur. So it's applying that amount of blur that I used previously. Pretty cool. So now we're going to go back up to mode again and select screen. And we're going to drop it down to 53, maybe a little bit more. So again, a nice, soft, dreamy look. But who says you have to use screen? We have a ton of different blending modes here, and I wouldn't say all of them are going to work, maybe a handful or less, two or three maybe at the most. But you can go through here and try out different modes to see if you like something different than screen. So that one gives us more saturated colors, but it still adds that soft glow to the image. So go ahead and experiment with different modes as well to find something different for your images. All right, let's go ahead and check out our last image here, which does have a brighter background like the first one, but it's more of a classic type of edit. And based on the way I edited this image, it already has a small amount of soft glow to it in the highlights that you can see here on her hand and her face. But I want to increase the intensity of that glow even more. So let's do that again by duplicating the layer. I'm going to actually go into the Gaussian Blur tool here and increase it more than I did before. So you can kind of see the effect of this. I'm going to go ahead and click on Mode and select Screen. And a little too intense, so I'm going to drop this down to right about there. 
Now that you know how to add a soft, dreamy, romantic glow to your images, check out that playlist there to your left to learn more about editing, retouching, and styling your photos in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.